Welcome to Introduction to Python. Today we're going to learn about if statements. So I'm going to open up our Python folder, put a new REPL in it, Python, same old, same old. If statements is where you can really start giving your program some power to make decisions without your um, really direction. It can kind of start to think on its own and make decisions. I always want to slide this over so I have plenty of room. Um, so what we're going to do today, um, I'm a huge Marvel Avengers fan, so we're going to set up some variables for if the Avengers were going to have like a little uh, fight to see who is the strongest. So these are my opinions, but you can have your own opinions if you want to do this on your own, it's whatever. Uh, so let's set up some uh, Captain America, forgive my spelling, something like that. Captain America, probably one of the more stronger Avengers, I'll give him 80 points, um, Iron Man, uh, 75, uh, Hulk, would be more like 97, and then let's just do uh, Thor, oops, should have them lowercase, Thor would be like 90, 99, okay, so if we we're going to put these guys into a battle, I mean obviously we can just see who is the strongest and that Thor is always going to win. Uh, Hulk is right below him and so on and so forth. But if we say had all the Avengers and we were battling them up in different areas, um, then that would be a problem. So what we want to do is we want to set up an if statement. How you do that, you just type in if, then parentheses, and then you do captain, you can just pick an Avenger. Again, you can just be picking your own characters, whatever you want to do. If Iron Man is um, greater than um, Captain America, then you yeah, put colon. Colon ends the same. So what we're saying here, reading it kind of in English, if Iron Man is greater than Captain America, what do we want it to do? We want to print out uh, Iron Man is the winner. Okay, let's see what happens. So as you can see, when we run it, nothing's happening. And why is nothing happening? Because Iron Man is not greater than Captain America. So we need to kind of switch these two around to actually have it do something. So we'll do, if Captain America is greater than Iron Man, then say Captain America is the winner. Winner has two ends in it, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. Captain America is the winner. And all we could do is we could then copy this, paste this down here, and then we could put two, uh, two, two different Avengers together. So let's do, if Thor is greater than Iron Man, then say, uh, Thor, Thor is the winner. Captain America is the winner, and Thor is the winner. Okay, so it's just it's testing the values of what the that Avenger is worth, and it's testing it against the other Avenger to see which one is a greater value. Okay, the same thing works. You don't necessarily have to use variables. Um, you can just use numbers. Um, if, a, if 100 is greater than 90, or 8, greater than 90, colon, col, colon ends the if statement, and then print out whatever it is you want it to do. Okay, so run it, Captain America's the winner, Thor's the winner, yay. 100 is always going to be greater than 90. Okay, basically, whatever. Whatever follows this colon, it's going to do as long as this is when this is true. Okay, so we can we can do multiple print statements. For CHS is the best. Um, you can set up new variables inside here. Number one is equal to three hundred thirty-three. You can print off that variable. Um, and then let's run this again. So it did all three of those three, all four of those things because this is true. Okay. 
the, one of the tricks with if statements is if I go down here and do print uh, number one, what thing's gonna happen? It's gonna print it again. So that number is still, even though it's now outside that if statement, see how this is kind of indented in? Everything in here is outside. Everything below here is, now that we're indented out, uh, it's no longer part of the if statement. Okay, so if I if I change this to 89, if 89 is greater than 90, do these things. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, number one is not defined. Now that's an interesting problem. Okay, it's trying to run this line of code because it's right here. It says line 19 starters, and it can't. It says when it says name number one is not defined, that means that it, number one isn't a variable that's been set up yet. So, but it's set up right here. The problem is, is that this line of code never ran because this test isn't true. So you have this has to be true in order for this to work. So this isn't running because number one never existed. This line, this line of code is basically non-existent because it's not true. Okay, that's basically it. Um, set up an if statement. Type in lowercase i f parentheses. This is your test. Um, it tests one side of the the sign and tests it against the other side. If it's true, it does this. If it's not true, then it doesn't do anything. We'll learn on the next video what happens if this, what you can set up if this isn't true, um, and then you can have multiple tests running at the same time. But this is the very basics of of if um, you can do you can do variables or you can just do regular numbers. Doesn't really matter. You can also I didn't show yet, but if you can also just do it to equals, and when you do equals, you have to have two. So it's, it's testing to see if Captain America is equal to Iron Man. So if you run that one, um, oh, that's still, that's still not working. Thor is the winner. So now it's only saying this one because this is no longer true. Captain America is not equal to Iron Man. So this is not running, so only this one's running. And this still isn't running because this is not true. So this has to be true. Okay, for this to run. That's basically what it's testing. Okay, that's it.